Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> Alright, Putz. Are you excited to match me? Uh, do I, I, do I really, I really can't do the matches from this point? I, I'm really thinking of the Game Boy Color game too much, aren't I? <laughs> because I stopped my part at the last part there, because I thought that's where I could have started the match play, but no, 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 it's sounding like I've got to go back to Joe for the doubles match play. Yup, 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 see? It's Joe and Putz. Yeah, that, that doubles cup wasn't enough. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I don't really know if Putz is gonna do him all that well either. I mean, these two are kind of the worst of the worst in the game, so <laughs> here we go, I guess. <laughs> he's, he's taunting us, but that's, I mean, I, I do think they'll do better because, you know, the, the whole doubles thing is that I can't keep going on the birdie train like I could before because, you know, we'll have Neil messing shots up. But still, this is going to be a just almost a complete shutout. <laughs> Alright, here we go. By the way, this music is a remix of Putz's theme song from the Game Boy Color game. And you'll hear that with all the other special pro remix musics as well from the uh, Game Boy Color game as well. So that's pretty cool, I gotta say. And that is not good position because you're on the down slope. <laughs> but whatever, whatever, maybe perhaps Putz can pull it off. But considering that his name is a pun of P U T Z, I don't think so. I mean, that's an okay shot, I guess. But it's not really what I would be going for if I was going for match play. Like, in match play, you've really, really gotta be putting the pressure on the opponent. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're not really, you know, you're not generally playing against someone per se, but the thing about it is that you've gotta make sure that you're going for the absolute lowest score that you can possibly go for on the whole, because if they don't, you know, if they don't pull it off, they are not... Wow, they got a birdie. Nice. <laughs> if they don't pull it off, they are going to have some great trouble. Uh, because you'll continually be getting the lower scores. And maybe it's not going to be a complete shutout. That's interesting. <laughs> That's kind of surprising that they managed to birdie that. But okay. Okay, I can live with that. <laughs> Next up is Neil, and please put me in good position. That... I don't like where you're aiming there, Neil. <laughs> I'm in the heavy rough. Well, hopefully I can recover from that. I might be able to, but... Mm, that heavy rough is really going to knock down on my power. So it's, it's gonna be a thing. Well, they didn't make the green either, so if I don't make... I should say they didn't make the green at all, so... If I don't make the green either, it will be okay. And Oh, this, this is too risky. See, look, look at the red marker underneath the blue marker. See that down there? If I go to a wood in the heavy rough, it drops to minuscule size. That's a little too risky. So I'm gonna go three iron and fire it off over to the left side. And I think it's actually gonna end up going down the slope because I mishit that, but... Eh, oh no, that's, that's okay position. I think we're both gonna end up powering this hole, which is alright, but... You know, I want the birdies. <laughs> I'm used to the birdies here. You, you can't have me birdie every hole in last match play and then, you know, not not here. It's just kind of like taking something away from me that's meaningful. <laughs> and there we go. That should go in, because I don't think I have to move it at all. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. And I know it's a little graphical glitch on the emulator over the... Uh, the power every so often and whatever text they put up on the screen. That's all right, I guess. It doesn't really matter that much. It's just as long as the screen isn't all jittery like it was before. I don't expect an emulator to be perfect because no emulator is perfect, but I would prefer to play on the actual system if at all possible. But for some reason when I played this on the, the Game Boy player, it's it's so weird. It was much darker than it should have been. It just didn't look right. It just didn't, yeah. 
So I just wanted to give the most authentic experience that I could in that regard, like with the colors and the graphics and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's why I chose the emulator this time, even though it's not... Oh, jeez. That is not a good shot. But anyway, as I was saying, it's not, it's not my most ideal choice is to use an emulator. But, well. Here I am. <laughs> uh, what? What are they doing? <laughs> are they letting us win the hole? Uh, I'll try and chip this one in because I'm close enough. Just kind of let it go. Uh, no backspin or anything like that. I'll just let it roll out to the hole. And, and, and... <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And, and, and. My partner is up. Put me wherever you think you can put, I mean, wherever you want to put me. Maybe I can ship it in again. <laughs> alright. That's alright position, I guess. I think he could have used more power on that, but can't expect the computer AI to be that good on the impact area this early in the game, I guess. Maybe. Might be. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go... I think I'd actually get away with over here, but I think over here is better positioning because that's shooting into the mouth of the green rather than over a bunker. So I think I should probably go here, and it looks safe to go with a one wood. Well, driver. Oh, that is... That is perfection in a nutshell right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that positioning. So... Putts, out of the bunker, and into another bunker. <laughs> oh, no, it didn't go into another bunker. I, I was going to say, the way that he was aiming, and the way that, you know, he was hitting it, looked, it I was sure it was going to go in that other bunker, but no, it didn't. Eh, well, that's, that's okay with them. I, I mean, okay for them, I guess. And my buddy Neil is up, rocking... The rock, I mean, the rock in the fairway, kind of. <laughs> Maybe I could chip that in because there's zero miles per hour of wind and I'm really close to the edge of the green. Uh, yeah, when I want to chip the ball in from off the green, a lower shot is quite helpful. So I'm going to go with like a nine iron. And, uh, I don't think there's going to be any effect on my ball with the slope. So I'm just going to hope for the best, not spin it. And, and, and... <laughs> oh, no. That is not looking good for them if I can keep, if I can keep doing that sort of thing. Uh, anyway. <laughs> as long as Neil plops me in the fairway in, like, some sort of workable position, I should be able to get us close on this one because this green isn't very difficult to land the ball on. It's just, you know... If, if he's doing the shot to the green, it's like the hardest shot in the world. <laughs> but for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna put her on the green. Well, probably. I shouldn't say that. I mean, I could make a mistake. It's always possible. This is golf, after all. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna have to go seven iron here, and I'll backspin. There we go. I hit that a little less than what I wanted to hit it, but I think it'll still be okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. Right on top of the slope. See? Not that hard to land the ball on the green. And it's it's mainly thanks to that front slope because it just slows down the ball so much. But, uh, you can land it up top and it'll it'll still work, but... Anyway... Um... Uh... This is... This is painful to watch. <laughs> it's like... I don't know if you've ever played golf in your life and you've played with someone who wasn't really very good and they just keep duffing the ball and hitting into the woods and stuff. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's still fun to play with people who do that, but, you know, it just makes me think, hmm, I don't think they have practiced enough. <laughs> Because, you know, when, when, when you get the hang of at least, at the very least, getting the ball up in the air and getting some direction going, you know, you're not getting yourself in that much trouble because you've got, got used to getting under the ball and stuff like that. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm being too critical and I'm just a better than average golfer or something, I don't know. 
but it's just just the way that I feel because it, you know I, I put the practice into it and I don't feel like that I'm practicing as hard as say a tour pro or something like that so yeah I, I'm just getting the feel of it down just making sure that I get everything right you know <laughs> at least that's what it feels like intuitively but anyway Alright, going on, moving on with the groove on, and shall I go for the chipping again? I think I should. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to aim a little bit to the right this time, and I think I'm going to topspin this one because of the slope. Let's we'll see how this goes. I th I'm hoping I'm not getting too greedy with this one. Oh man. Because <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't go too far past the hole or something like that, but yeah, it worked out. It's worked out. Oh, 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 oh. Eh, mm -hmm. well. <laughs> I can't even make that. I can't even. Terrible, Terrible indeed, Pots. <laughs> um. Mm, uh, being over at this little cubby hole thing sounds good to me, but I think I'm gonna try and top spin it. Oh, shoot, I didn't roll over my finger properly. I was gonna say top spin it up the slope so I don't get on the slope, but, uh, no, okay, that's good, that's good. There. Oh, no, wait, it was rolling back, so I am on the slope. Ah, poopers. Well, I should say Neil is on the slope. I'm sorry, Neil. That was like my one bad shot of the day. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see what they can do. Ah, uh, well, that's, that's all right, I guess. They can make it on in regulation. Uh, I don't know about us getting an under-regulation, though. This actually looks really good. The way that he hit that with max power? Uh, no, it's not. The height's gonna hold him back with the the wind and everything like that. That's alright, though. That that was, a, that was a pretty good effort. Alright, putts. Don't be a putts. You kind of were a putts. Uh, I wonder if I should just putt this. Because putting will take all the wind out of it, and then I have a higher chance of actually putting this in. Uh, but I'm off the fairway, and I can't tell how much fairway I'm putting through. So, I might overhit this, and it'll bounce off the flight pole. Or, I'm going to be horrendously short. Let's see, I'm going to just try and overhit like that. And that was... Ah! Oh! <laughs> I did hit the pin, and it bounced out like I thought it did, but it didn't bounce out as far as I thought it was going to, but that was a really good attempt at Eagle there, because I took a pretty wild guess there, just just by take, you know switching to a putter there, and yeah, it worked out pretty well. Birdie, birdie, birdie! <laughs> and there's the Ocarina Green once again. And, 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 uh, 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 I think this will work out fine, as long as I put backspin on it. It just, I, I always feel like that I need to tweak the distance for some reason, you know, like on the, the bar, even though I don't always have to do that. It's like I'm, I'm looking for something that isn't there. <laughs> That's why I sometimes stall out when I'm, a when I'm aiming for the green knight, you know, hit at maximum power. And... No, no, that's, that's pretty awful. Mmm... Okay. <laughs> and, and... Are you serious? <laughs> like, I, I seen I seen him move the cursor, that's why I, I paused talking there for a second, and... Why would you move the cursor? <laughs> oh, whatever. Whatever. Oh, if it wasn't for that birdie on the first hole, this would probably be a total shutout. <laughs> maybe the adaptive AI in this game works both ways. Like, maybe they start by shooting well, and then as I start demolishing them, they just go like, oh, oh, I, I can't look anymore. I can't play this anymore. I'm just here to enjoy the weather. I'm just going to hit the ball anywhere. <laughs> They just lose all their faith in their skills, and it's just over with. <laughs> I don't know. It just that's what that's how it seems like it's going here. Because look how far away they are, 
just on their second shot, and they have a tree potentially in their way and everything. I mean, even Neil hitting me, you know, way over here, I'm still in better position than they are. Ah, uh, yeah, the tree was indeed in the way, and it looks like he had to hit high, I mean, hit harder to get the ball higher to get over the tree. Uh, so I guess that's not a bad recovery. Uh, I'm gonna try the chip in, <laughs> because why not? Here we go. Do I dare? I'm gonna put backspin on it because it's gonna be. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put backspin. I was gonna say because I think it's gonna run on past, but nah, it didn't really run on past. It's alright though. I can't chip them all in. <laughs> Sink to win. I will take a par for a win. For the team. Terrible, yes. Two to win. So that means this could last only two more holes. I will aim for the risky spot, just because I'm feeling good. That looks very good, in fact. Just as long as I keep myself more towards the right than the left, I should be fine. And not too much right, too, because that could put put us in the trees. But, yeah, it's just I want to be more towards the right because of the angling to the green, more than anything. It's not so much distance-wise or anything like that as it is position. As I said before, it's not always about the distance to the hole. Sometimes the positioning makes a lot of difference. Like, if you if you run a three wood into the green, it could go right next to the hole if you have enough to run into it, as opposed to having to drop and stop it from a long distance with uh, four iron or something like that. Because it's, it's a lot more risky to do that from uh, such a great distance. But yeah, I mean, generally, as I said before, I would prefer the drop and stop but, you know, when we're alternating shots like this, kind of want to plan for your, uh, kind of want to plan for what your partner character may or may not do. And, and I'm not, I'm not expecting a chip in this time because of all that slope, but I just wanted to get it close. And really, I shouldn't be expecting a chip in every time I'm around the green, but, uh, it is something that I, w that I would actually be going for if I'm going for super low scores and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, one to win. This could very well be the end of the match, and it probably will be because chances are our team will bury this hole because it's a par five. Very, very easy for us to get on the green in regulation now, even under in uh, regulation because of the power boost to our, uh... oh, that I overhit that. I'm sorry, Neil. <laughs> But uh, because of all the power boost due to the stats and stuff like that, it should be significantly easier to pull off getting in the green un under regulation or in regulation. Uh, especially if the wind is with us. Anyway, but uh, the wind is not with us, so it's not really helpful, but... <laughs> mm, oh man, this is looking like disaster town. Uh, this would be a, a pretty scary shot to do in real life, hitting over all these trees and having to carry all that. But I have done that, uh, with a fairway wood before, so... It, I'm pretty confident with that, but... It's still a little scary. <laughs> because if you miss it, you're not only gonna be in the trees, you're gonna be under the trees. So it's, you're, you're losing a lot of shots there. I'm gonna let this run one run out to say about the right side of the hole where it's nice and wide and he should be able to one putt that for birdie look at that look at that so much green to work with makes it so much easier and mm, hmm well that's pretty decent but surprisingly you didn't get closer even though we were further away, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> There's the par, and as I was saying, sure enough, we've got the birdie. As long as he doesn't move the cursor. <laughs> and there we go! Match play of the doubles variety is, is one with flying colors. Uh, 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 I'll level up myself, because I need more height. Oh wait, uh, no, wait, I mean, I, excuse me, not more height, uh, more impact area. Uh, or should I straighten it? I'll go with the impact area, because I can get used to a fade. I, I'll be fine with a fade. 
New character unlocked to play outside of the story mode! Yeah! <laughs> it's Putz, and the doubles match play has been unlocked for Grace and Sherry! I am singing for no good reason, <laughs> Lords of Golf! <laughs> no, are the Kings of Swings! <laughs> Hmm. Oh, okay, I guess Lords of Golf would work too. And oh, what? Oh, mm, mm, he runs. <laughs> yep. Yep, we are indeed. But there is more to come. More game to play. More side quests to do. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> well, after all this dialogue ends off and whatnot. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I start my singles ventures once again. But for now, I'm saving and quitting. <laughs>